tell him I said no. I won't have you damn soldiers poking about in my business. Listen here, old man. No, you listen to me. This is my property, not his. I don't care if Christ himself put the man in charge. He isn't asking. It's in order. <laughs> That's rich. The man couldn't order his way out of a burlap sack. I've seen the mess he's made of the docks. <laughs> I won't let him ruin mine. Just read the letter. You'll see his terms are quite generous. I grow tired of this. Look, I'll consider what he has to offer, but I doubt it'll change my mind. Now go on, get out of here. <laughs> Recevez, ne le laissez pas s'enfuir. He must not be of sound mind. <laughs> are to present themselves to a representative from the Teutonic Order for reassignment. Any attempt to maintain possession of a claimed vessel will be punished severely.
is it that you want? I'm supposed to be afraid of you. How are you? I call for help. following orders if you want your ship back speak with the court that's not what i'm after then what sabran's claimed near a hundred ships for what purpose a blockade they're to sail for open water and establish a perimeter for what does salah Hadin intend to strike from sea no it's not he we defend against but ships from home to deny richard more troops why would one of Richard's own want to see him weakened in this way? I don't know. Ask Sibran. They're his orders. I'm just meant to carry them out. Now, please, let me go. I've told you all I know. I'm sorry. I cannot risk you telling him I'm here. <laughs> You are not allowed to be here. Leave. I hear you're looking for information on Sibran. Karim's found something you'd probably find useful. Best track him down if you want it. Something caught your eye. I saw you won't get away with it. Safety and peace, brother. I've been looking everywhere for you. I stole this letter earlier today. Read it over. Hopefully it'll be a use. qu'il nous observe en ce moment. Please, someone do this. you not to steal. Why would anyone want to do that? Let me go. Are the weapons of our enemies. Do not listen to their lies. Poisonous words meant to show the speed. 
He should stop acting like a child. Greetings, brother. How fares your search? I've learned all there is to know about my target. Share your knowledge with me, then. Sabrand is said to be consumed by fear, driven mad by the knowledge that his death approaches. He has sealed the docks district, and now hides within waiting for his ship to arrive. This will make things dangerous. I wonder how it is he learned of your mission. The men I've killed, they are all connected. Al Muallam warned me that word of my deeds has spread among them. Be on your guard, Altair. Of course, Rafiq. But I think it will be to my advantage. Fear will weaken him. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Mistaken, Master Sibrand, I would never propose violence against any man, and most certainly not against you. So you say, and yet no one here will vouch for you. What am I to make of this? I, I live a simple life, my lord, as do all men of the cloth. It is not for us to call attention to ourselves. Perhaps. Or perhaps they do not know you because you are not a man of God, but an assassin! Never! You wear the same robes. If they cover themselves as we do, it is only to instill uncertainty and fear. You must not give in. Are you calling me a coward? Challenging my authority? Are you perhaps hoping to turn my own knights against me? No, 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 no. I, I don't understand why, why you're doing this to me. I've done nothing wrong. <laughs> I don't recall accusing you of any wrongdoing, which makes your outburst rather odd. Is it the presence of guilt that compels a confession? But I confess nothing. Ah, defiant to the very end. What do you mean? William and Garnier were too confident, and they paid for this with their lives. I won't make the same mistake. If you truly are a man of God, then truly the Creator will provide for you. Let him stay my hand. You've gone mad. Will none of you come forward to stop this? He is clearly poisoned by his own fear, compelled to see enemies where none exist. Seems the people share my concern. What I do, I do for Acre! Oh! Stay vigilant, men. Report any suspicious activity to the guard. I doubt we've seen the last of these assassins. Persistent bastards. Now get back to work.
safe now, held in the arms of your god. Have my brothers taught you nothing? I know what waits for me. For all of us. If not your god, then what? Nothing. Nothing waits. And that is what I fear. You don't believe. How could I, given what I know? What I've seen? Our treasure was the proof. Proof of what? That this life is all we have. Linger a while longer, then, and tell me of the part you were to play. A blockade by sea. To keep the fool kings and queens from sending reinforcements. Once we... Once we... Conquered the Holy Land? Freed it, you fool. From the tyranny of faith. Freedom? You worked to overthrow cities. Control men's minds. Murdered any who spoke against you. I followed my orders. Believing in my cause. Same as you. Ah, 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 ah,
Altair, you've caused quite a stir. I've done as requested. Sabran's life is ended. So it is. So it is. You should ride for Masiaf and inform Al Muallim of your success. Yes. I should return and speak to him. Of this and other things. Is everything all right, my friend? You seem distant. It's nothing, Rafiq. Just a lot on my mind. Talk to me then. Let me help. I need to make sense of this myself first. But thank you for the offer. It is the men you kill, isn't it? You feel something for them. How? Ah, my friend. You are not meant to enjoy these grim tasks. Regret, uncertainty, sympathy. This is to be expected. I should not fear these feelings. You should embrace them. They are what keep you human. What if I'm wrong? What if these men are not meant to die? What if they mean well? Misguided, perhaps, but pure in motive. I am but a Rafiq, Altair, and such things are beyond me. Perhaps Al Mualim can help you to make sense of it. Yes, perhaps. Thank you, Rafiq. It is my pleasure to have served with one as skilled as you.
fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. taken care of. I want that progress report by tomorrow morning. I've got some work I need to do. So you've got the rest of the night to yourself. Time's wasting, Mr. Miles. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. We're nearly done, you know. And then what? You'll see. Maybe they'll even let you watch when it begins. It's not as terrible as you think. Look, I know you're not gonna let me leave. So why not tell me what's going on? Humor me. I'm not an idiot, Mr. Miles. I think you've already learned quite a bit. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course not. All right, let me ask you something else then. Yes? Some of the stuff I'm seeing in the Animus, sometimes it seems wrong. Untrue, like the history is off somehow. It doesn't... It doesn't what, Mr. Miles? Match up with what you read on an online encyclopedia? What your high school history teacher taught you? Let me ask you something. Do these supposed experts have access to secret knowledge kept hidden from the rest of us? There are books. Letters, documents, all sorts of source material from back then. Some of it seems to contradict what the Animus is showing me. Anyone can write a book, and they can put whatever they want on its pages. Anything. <laughs> Used to be we thought the world was flat. Some people still do. Yes, and they publish books about it. Or that the moon landing was a hoax. I believe there's also a book claims the world was created in seven days. A bestseller, too. Where's this going, Doc? The point, I suppose, is that you shouldn't trust everything you hear, everything you read. What's that your ancestors said? Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Yes, exactly. It's part of what makes the Animus so spectacular. There's no room for misinterpretation. There's always room. Touché, Mr. Miles. Now that I've answered your question, can we begin? to deal with distant enemies. Come in, my student. We have much to discuss. We are close, Altair. Robert de Sable is now all that stands between us and victory. It is his mouth gives the orders. His hand pays the gold. With him dies the knowledge of the Templar treasure and any threat it might pose. I still don't understand how a simple bit of treasure could cause so much chaos. The peace of Eden is temptation given form. Merely look at what it's done to Robert. Once he tasted of its power, the thing consumed him. He saw not a dangerous weapon to be destroyed, but a tool. One that would help him realize his life's ambition. He dreamed of power then? Yes and no. He dreamed, still dreams. 
like us, of peace. But this is a man who sought to see the Holy Land consumed by war. No, Altair. How can you not see when you're the one that opened my eyes to this? What do you mean? What do he and his followers want? A world in which all men are united. I do not despise his goal. I share it. But I take issue with the means. Peace is something to be learned, to be understood, to be embraced. He would force it. And rob us of our free will in the process. Strange to think of him in this way. Never harbor hate for your victims, Altair. Such thoughts are poison and will cloud your judgment. Could he not be convinced then to end his mad quest? I spoke to him in my way through you. What was each killing if not a message? But he has chosen to ignore us. Then there's only one thing left to do. Jerusalem is where you faced him first. It's where you'll find him now. Let this final offering lend you strength. Go, Altair. It's time to finish this. Safety and peace, Altair. Upon you as well, brother. Seems fate has a funny way with things. So it's true, then. Robert de Sable is in Jerusalem. I've seen the knights myself. Only misfortune follows that man. If he's here, it's because he intends ill. I won't give him the chance to act. Do not let vengeance cloud your thoughts, brother. We both know no good can come of that. I have not forgotten. You have nothing to fear. I do not seek revenge, but knowledge. Truly, you are not the man I once knew. My work has taught me many things, revealed secrets to me. But there are still pieces of this puzzle I do not possess. What do you mean? All the men I've laid to rest have worked together, united by this man. Robert has designs upon the land. This much I know for certain. But how and why, when and where, these things remain out of reach. Crusaders and Saracens working together? They are none of these things, but something else. Templars. The Templars are a part of the Crusader army. Or so they'd like King Richard to believe. No, their only allegiance is to Robert de Sable and some mad idea that they will stop the war. You spin a strange day. You have no idea, Malik. But tell me where they've been seen. I should be after him before he slips away. Three places I can say for certain. West of here, near both a guard tower and a hospital. And to the southwest, at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. See what you can learn. I will do the same. I'll be quick as I can. Stay safe, my friend.
We're rejecting. Just a few coins, please. What would make someone move so quickly? Where is he going? There is no reason for doing that. Oh, oh. For too long, we have drawn lines across the land, spilled the blood of those we once called friends. We have all suffered because of this. But now, now we are offered a chance at redemption, a chance to begin anew. Let us make peace with the Crusaders. Let us live as one. Peace, often spoke of, never acted upon. But today is different. Crusader knights walk the streets of Jerusalem and not in occupation. There is no evil in their hearts. And so we must seize this opportunity. Begin a dialogue, make amends. Together, we might finally bring truth to the ever ephemeral promise of peace. <laughs> 